Hi, this is Guy Delosier, Senior Applications Engineer for Go Engineer. When you assemble parts in an assembly and you're doing things that are repetitive, I've got uh, little boxes, I've got lids for the boxes, uh, I've got uh, uh, shafts that have to go in places, um, I want to be able to assemble those very quickly. I don't want to have to mess around um, and take a rectangular lid and make three mates to make it go where I want it to go. That's because that's what it takes. It takes three mates. I have to have a mate that fits on the top of the box and then another mate that the, it comes up to the ed, side here and then the side here. Um, so I want this thing to happen very quickly. I don't have time to mess around. So we've got something called mate references that can be applied to individual parts to cause this to happen very quickly and easily. So I can turn a Windows Explorer on here and I can grab a lid and I can just bring it in here and have it drop right on my box uh, because I've got different size boxes it says right there what the size is and different size lids I can just pick the size I want uh, and make it go where I want it to go. Perfect. That saves me a ton of time, uh, particularly if I've got a lot of these to do uh, in a day. Because uh, lots of times we have different sizes of these things, uh, motor boxes, uh, equipment boxes, whatever, and we need to assemble these things quickly. Same thing with, with shafts and holes and things. This is just a hole, you know, uh, just to give you the idea of what's going on here. But I can have something in my library, uh, and I can just grab it and just have it go in one step. Thank you. That's exactly the one I want. Don't need any more of those. Um, and I can just grab this, and, you know, it's made it up in one step. Perfect. That's exactly what I'm looking for. And mate references let us do this kind of stuff. Okay? So let me start out with something like this uh, shaft here. Let me just close this uh, items here. Uh, I'll just start out with a uh, uh, just a simple uh, box. And this one is a different box. I don't have the sizes on it or anything. Um, just so I can show you how to make all this stuff work. Now, for something like a circular shaft, uh, I think I've got one open already. Yeah, there we go. Uh, I've got this open. Um, I can add a mate reference to this edge. And when I do that, that's all that's necessary for that to go right in uh, that hole where I want it to go. Okay? Now, I can, if I tile my windows, uh, I can grab this from one window and drag it right into the other window and have it go where I want it to go. That's called a smart mate, and we've had that for years and years and years. Sometimes it's not convenient to open up another part and do this. It's a lot simpler just to grab it out of the library and drop it in. Now, if I open up another model here, um, these two models, this, are, this surface or face is mated to that face, uh, coincident. So the mass of both of these faces are down below the mating face. Okay? If I edit this mate, be the last mate I have here. If I edit this mate, we have aligned anti-aligned right here, or I can reverse or flip the mate alignment right there. Either way. Okay, if I click that, it flips the other way. So now those surfaces or those faces are opposite each other. The mass of this one is down, the mass of the one on the right is up. Those are anti-aligned. Over here in the tree, it tells me anti-aligned. This one aligned, anti-aligned, aligned, etc. Okay, so when we're setting up these predefined mate references, we need to know which one we want. We always want the bottle to set on top of the tabletop, so the bottom of the bottle would have a coincident mate that would be a mate reference that would be anti-aligned, so the mass would be above the tabletop. Uh, it's that simple. Okay, so let me just exit out of here. Okay, so now if I make this thing big and I open a lid for this or I try to bring a lid in on this, uh, there's no mate references on here. It doesn't go where I want it to go. Oh shoot. So I'll just drop it up here in the uh, toolbar so that will open in its own window. Okay, so I want to turn this thing around and I want to pick this... Uh, back face, 
This face, I'm going to have a coincident relationship with it, um, a predefined mate condition that's coincident and anti-aligned. This face is going to be coincident aligned, and this face is going to be coincident aligned. So if I go to uh, Features, Reference Geometry, or Insert Reference Geometry in the menus, I want Mate References down here at the bottom. <clears throat> So, mate reference. Primary, right one right there. I want this to be coincident. I want this to be anti-aligned. This face now, I want to be coincident. And I want it to be aligned. Okay? This other face, coincident, aligned. Perfect. Let me save this. Now, what I should do, I should name this. I didn't do that. Uh, I should uh, uh, edit this and give this a name, not default. This is a lid mate, so we'll call this lid. Okay? So we can have uh, a part with several mate references on it with different names, and other parts can have uh, a mate reference on it with a name. And when you bring the lid close to um, with a lid reference uh, close to a box with a lid reference they'll snap right into place in the correct way okay so I've got this where I want it now uh, on this one now I need to do the same thing I need to open this uh, and do the exact same thing okay I need to get a um, mate reference and uh, pick that and coincident anti-aligned I need to make that lid also <clears throat> Secondary reference would be that one, and coincident uh, aligned, and this one would be coincident also, and this one would be aligned too. Okay, so lid, mate reference, so my mate reference shows up here, and I can see that it's a lid. Okay, perfect. Now, save this. Uh, let's go back to our assembly. Now, if I bring my... A uh, lid that I just altered in here, boom, it snaps right into place. So you spend about the same amount of time once setting up mate references as it would take to mate something up. And then the next 497 times you do this mate, it just snaps into place. We're going to bring it right from Windows Explorer. It doesn't get a whole lot easier than that. Okay? And if I bring this one out of here that I already did too, did I add the mate reference? Oh, I didn't do that. My bad. So let me go here and we'll add that mate reference also. Mate reference. And this one, all I have to do uh, is click that and uh, default any and uh, we're done. That's all we have to do. Just tell it that that's a mate reference. Uh, save that and close that and bring it in from Windows Explorer. And boom, there you go. Goes right into place. Mate references. Okay, this is Guy Delosier, Senior Applications Engineer for Go Engineer, wishing you a great day.